Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where today we are continuing with the Unblink mission. Uh, let's go ahead and attach our winch. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pull out. <clears throat> I think we're gonna have to turn on the uh, the Tega's truck behind us. That's uh, yeah, <clears throat> that that should work. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm hoping we don't run into ground clearance issues, and this is kind of gonna be our first test here. I think what we'll do is we'll just go nice and slow into it and. Kind of bury the front bumper. It, yeah, it did better than I thought it would. It just would have been nice if it uh, was a little bit higher. I, I, I almost expected this to uh, get completely stuck there, so. But it is a 5x5, five five, so that's... Uh, that's pretty impressive. I think this might be the first five by five or, or ten five five wheels on each side. So yeah, five by five, like four by four. Although technically a four by four. Wouldn't this be a ten by ten? If if that's the same uh, theory. Because a four by four is really just a two by two. Uh let's go ahead and fuel up. The Tega, we're not, we're not even gonna bother. We'll just go for it. <clears throat> but yeah, so I, you know, it's it's a ten ten wheel drive truck. So uh, it's the first of its kind. I think the highest we had before this was obviously an eight, with uh, most trucks being eights. And then you have the uh, the six that's like the Tega behind me. So. <clears throat> and five, well, that just doesn't, uh, that doesn't exist. Not that I know of anyways. And then you have a standard four by four, which is, you know, really a two by two. I, I don't, I mean, I guess, I guess the four wheel drive is, is four wheels, four driving wheels, not four by two. A four by two would be four wheels, two driving wheels or two power wheels. At, at least that's how I kind of understand it. Like you have, you have four wheels, but then you have two drive wheels, or you have four wheels and you have four drive wheels. This would be ten wheels. So this, yeah, I guess, I guess technically this would be a ten by ten. So I don't know. Anyways, uh, we are almost to uh, to the next map, so. So far, so good. The truck does seem a little like every other, every other Azov. Uh, kind of has that same low top speed. Uh, if we look, you can kind of see it's it's about 25, give or take. Which isn't, you know, it's not bad, but it's it's also not fantastic. And let's go ahead and jump to the quarry. Oh. And let's see here, where do we gotta go? We gotta go all the way over to the rift, so. Let's attach the winch. Oh, did I miss it? I feel like I blinked and missed. Where is my... There we go. I was... I, I've never been a huge fan of the, uh... That points selection. Uh... But then again, I really don't know how I would change it. <laughs> you know, like... I don't know what I would, how I would do it differently. So it's it's one of those things where it's like I'm not a fan of it, but I also know that there's probably no other way to do it. Uh, 
besides maybe saying, okay, well, your first points, like all the points pop up, and then your first points will automatically be another vehicle by you. And then from there it picks uh, the closest point and works its way through to the farthest point. Maybe that's smarter, maybe that's better, I, I really don't know. Uh, yeah, let me see here, I believe, oh. Oh yeah, that's right, we don't have a snorkel on this truck. I don't think it came with one as an option. I'm trying to think, I don't remember seeing one. Oh well, you know what, we'll just have to be careful of uh, of water passages and if if it comes down to it what we can do is we can use the tra Tega as the lead truck and then we'll pull this through but we'll leave it turned off so that it can't get damaged. So <clears throat> if, if it comes down to it we can uh, we can actually get through the water that we need to so I have all these signs for the rift oh crap did I not pay attention to that uh, where is the menu uplink two metal beams okay you know what it's it's fine I think we're going to have to drop the two metal beams off. I probably should have put the two metal beams and then, yeah, I should have broke them up the way I did. Uh, but we got to go just past our uh, crater up here and then we'll take a right. But yeah, I think the vehicle spare parts go to a different map. In fact, Aren't the vehicle spare parts for a whole different mission? Sorry, it's it's been a while since my the last episode, so uh, it's been maybe four days. I'm gonna say four days. I completely forgot why uh, we have the vehicle spare parts, but I I was under the impression that it's a mission that is also in the rift where we have to drop them off. So. I'm hoping that's what I remember. If I'm wrong, then maybe, hopefully I'm not too far off and, and the vehicle spare parts have to go all the way into, uh, what is it? The, uh, I already forgot the name of the, the map, uh, Zimmergorsk. But, uh, yeah. So anyways, let's, uh, let's drop the metal beams off. Let's deal with those first. Let's, uh, turn on the engine. I don't know how that, uh, happened. There we go. Now we're not struggling so much to get up here. I am going to have to separate these two vehicles to uh, to get to the rift uh, access point just because it's a very, very tight turn. And yeah, doing a, doing a train system that we're doing right now, it will uh, probably would end up in failing. So. There's a, there's a high probability that we would end up falling off the cliff. So. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Yep. See, there's the ground clearance issue. That's... That's gonna not be good. <laughs> that's gonna be a problem. So. Let's go ahead and separate it here. We will make this turn pretty nicely. That might be the only vehicle that has made that turn perfectly. That or I'm getting better at uh, picking that point. All right, let's try to go for it. We're just going to keep it hard. There we go. All right, that is such a narrow, narrow little passage there that it is, uh, yeah, <laughs> it is not easy. 
All right, let's skip that. Let's figure out where we gotta go. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so we've gotta go to back to the base station. So let's go ahead and pull this out. We're gonna get this truck out of the way. Should be a good spot there. And then we will, uh... Go back to the, uh, the quarry and we will jump in the Tega. And yeah, we will uh, bring this truck all the way across. Okay, so it's, it's lack of drive wheels are actually hurting it right now. But it's not going to stop it. And hopefully that trailer doesn't fall off the cliff. Perfect. <clears throat> you, you definitely want to make sure you hit that square if it uh, starts to go. <laughs> and get the whole system to uh, jump to the rift. Alright, let's go ahead and fire this up. We're gonna probably stop it about here. Yeah, let's stop the engine. Let's skip to morning. We'll uh, sleep here till morning. Oh, look at that, it's morning. Yay, and let's, no, not that truck. Shoot, <laughs> picked the wrong one. Uh, the Azov 73210. All right, let's go ahead and start this engine. Attach the winch. And let's head off. I, I picked a nice uh, muddy patch to uh, stop in. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? It is. It is what it is. We'll be fine. I think. Pretty sure we'll be fine. All right. The the name of this game is going to be slow and steady. Definitely slow and steady. Uh, let's go... Yeah, we gotta go left and then right, so... Go ahead and turn on the engine behind us so we go a little bit faster. I don't think we're gonna have an issue with fuel, so... But, regardless, we will uh, go ahead and fill up here. There's that wonderful glitch again. Okay, let's fill that up. Let's go ahead and let's try this on its own. It's going to struggle through here. Uh, due to the front end. Look at that. We are just, we are shoveling stones right now. This truck just had some ground clearance. It would be one of the top contenders for sure. But all right, let's uh, get some fuel on this beast. go let's go ahead and uh, switch trucks again change trucks Jeez. I said switch trucks so all I was looking for was the word switch <laughs> and that doesn't come up does it all right there we go okay the vehicles are on now there's a shortcut that we took the last time we came up this mountain so I'll probably go ahead and and tackle that as well I think it's just straight ahead
Am I right? Yeah, yeah, it is straight ahead. We just went. We just came down this way. We just absolutely get annihilated because of the front end. There we go. Let's get that log out of the way. And then we'll try to sneak up here. <clears throat> Man, I really hope, I really hope they come out with uh, raised suspension for this vehicle. Although there is an active suspension, uh, but that might raise it, which would be amazing. But you can't get bigger wheels than the, I think they're 50s or 51s on it right now. So unfortunately, it is kind of just what it is. But I think once we get the active suspension, this truck might be pretty, uh, pretty good. We can get that ground clearance issue taken care of. Oh, I'm going to smash into the tree. Yeah, not too bad. Alright, there's another fuel station. So this map, for some reason, is not shy of fuel whatsoever. Let's go ahead and drop our one beam off. And I guess this is where, this is kind of what I wasn't thinking about where I screwed up. Uh, because now we got to go to the Tega. We'll drop off these metal beams. Which, yep, that should finish the mission there. And then we can go back in. Is it loud and clear? Yeah, loud and clear is the two vehicle spare parts. But since... Since I now have two trucks, and I don't think... Yeah, I really don't think that, um... The Tega, or not the Tega, the uh, Azov can take a trailer. We now have to bring both trucks. Let's, uh, let's try it and check. I don't think I checked this before. That rear steering is amazing. Yeah, I didn't think it could. Well, we could... We could attach a winch to it. We could, we could always pull it like this. We, we can we can do that we can give that a shot uh, the one thing I'm worried about is the water that's up here and I am not going yeah I'm going an indirect way but we will uh, we'll have to figure this one out this all looks like cliff How deep is this river? I do not have a crane either. Yeah. we back up? Okay, we can back up a little bit. Okay, we might have to borrow the Tega real quick. I... My gut told me I should have went left of those trees. Um, maybe my gut would have been wrong too. 
Yep, my gut would have been horribly wrong. <laughs> I think I went the only way possible. Uh, you know what? Uh, you might be able to squeeze... Yeah, let's go up this way. Okay, so now we've turned this into a rock climbing competition. Or should I just say rock crawling? Um, yeah, so this would have been okay. That definitely would have been doable. So can we, can we squeeze through here? That's, that's going to be a tight fit. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So let's, uh, let's attach a winch. Okay. Cool. That's done. Let's change the trucks. Let's... Hmm. I, I swear sometimes I just make things harder on myself. Um, there's nothing I can do. Yep. I've got three trucks here and not a single crane. Uh, let's change trucks. I don't know what I'm... I really don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, this, this isn't going to work at all. All right, let's recover this. We are SOL at this point. Let's uh, customize. Let's throw on our, I think just our standard crane. Can we still get our flatbed on it? Not on this truck. It's okay. Fine. It's it's not the end of the world. We're, we'll we'll be okay. <laughs> it shouldn't actually take that long to get over there. Um, in fact, let's let's kind of clean up our mess. I I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. I, I apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was not the smartest thing I've ever done in this game. All right. Well, you know what? All we can do is uh, fix our mistake, right? All right. So let's uh, let's get this trailer out of here. That's 3,800 bucks there, so that's, uh, that's a little bit of money. Nothing to bat an eyelash at. Oh. Let's see. Uh, we've got, I don't know, we're, we're sitting pretty at over half a million. I think we're almost $700,000. Like, we have, uh, we have definitely done a pretty good job <laughs> at saving money in this game. All right, so let's jump to the quarry. <clears throat> We've got a little bit of a trek. But then again, in this truck, it uh, it's got a pretty good top speed into it, so or at least it I feel like it does. Even though the gauge says, what, 30? Yeah. Um, 
that's only what five miles an hour faster than the Azov. I wish I wish there was a digital gauge. I also wish I knew how to use the uh, the mods in this. It's uh, it's it's definitely not as easy. They also make you sign up for the for accessing the mods. It's it's kind of weird. I don't know why the mods aren't built in like they are in Farming Simulator. Uh, that's probably the easiest and best mod implement system that I've uh, that I've seen in the game. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys can think of a better one. I don't really play too many games though with mods, so I try to I try to keep things as vanilla as possible. As you can tell, if you're watching the series. <laughs> I basically have only downloaded one DLC besides the uh, year one and two. Uh, it's the uh, the jack of all trades. So, anyways, we should uh, we should be there shortly. It's a little inconvenient not to have a crane on at least one of your trucks, especially in if you're in a uh, area and you plan on just winging it and not really following a path. When you're when you're just trying to make your own path. But the good thing is. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm gonna get this truck to crane this onto the uh, the as off and we're just gonna we're just gonna use one truck I, I didn't really think it through too much and that flickering is just it's bad now seems like every time uh, Windows makes an upgrade uh, it just, the flickering just comes back even worse. And I don't even know what upgrade I got. I remember I had to upgrade it. So I upgraded Windows. Which unfortunately my computer will not let me upgrade to Windows 11. Uh, something's wrong with it. I don't know what it is. It's, it's that stupid, oh, your, your computer isn't that new, so you can't upgrade to Windows 11. And it's like, what? My processor's fine. That should have nothing to do with it. My graphics card is a 3080 Ti. I have 2K, well, three 2K monitors. I have X amount of RAM. I don't even remember. I think I have 64 gigs of RAM. It's either 32 or 64 for some reason. I can't, I can't remember. It's been a while since I looked at it. Uh, I have like, I don't know, a two terabyte hard drive with X amount of other hard drives and paraphernalia and it just it sits there and says that your computer is not good enough to update like is that Windows trying to make me to go out and buy a new computer because last time I checked the only computer Windows actually makes is a surface and yeah I'm not buying a surface so um, although I wouldn't I wouldn't be opposed to it in fact I wanted to buy one now that I'm going a little side note here, uh, I was going to buy one versus getting a, a laptop. And then it just, I was looking at it. I'm like, it's just too expensive. Like for what you get, I can get a laptop with a uh, 3060 in it. And yeah. All right, cool. Well, that was fun. Uh, let's let's try to figure this one out too. Uh, let's drag this trailer out of the way. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it right here. We're gonna swing around, guaranteed to smash into a birch tree. And maybe one more. <clears throat> And yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to attach this trailer. Apparently, I left it in a great spot. <laughs> you ever have one of those days where nothing goes your way? That's uh, that's what today's episode is. In fact, that's what I'm going to call today's episode. Let's pick up our vehicle spare parts. 
Uh, yeah, we're just gonna add these to the, uh... Oh, come on. There you go. We're gonna put these right on the Tega. Or on the, uh, on the Azoth. Slide those in there. Let's restore. Let's go ahead and change trucks. We'll unpack pack. And there is no trailer store over here, is there? Because we've got this trailer, which is a scout trailer, and then a, this trailer, which is a fuel carrier. So there is really no... There really is no need to, uh... Let's go into the Azov, because I think... Or the Atega, because I think I left it running. Yep. Alright, let's get this across the river. I am going to avoid anything I can. I don't want to go that way. If I go that way, there's two river crossings. I don't think this one's that deep. So yeah, let's let's try to go this way where it's shallow. And let's hope it, hope it is shallow. Come on, there you go. We are gonna fight this low front end every step of the way. Let's just weave through here. There we go. That's that's one way to do it. Well, you know what? It wasn't as easy as I was hoping it was going to be. But uh, let's let's look and see what we have left. We've got radioactive fossils, which means we've got a, well, honestly, we need six secured containers delivered to the drowned lands. That's gonna be fun. Hmm. I have... You know what, guys? I think I'm just gonna abandon these trailers. Let's, uh, let's leave these trucks here. I've, I've got all my toys just out and about, so... Let's go ahead and activate this. We will finish off this... Uh, what, what was it called? Um... Veron 1? Veron no? Verano? Verano? 12? Yeah. We're, we're going to say it's called Verano 12. We are going to finish this one today. And then we're going to be hopefully doing... Oops. Hopefully doing this one. Uh, the Tega oil. Or Taiga oil. I, it's literally almost the exact same name as the truck. Um, and that's just the service trailer. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. We just have to pick this up and take it over there? Uh, yeah, why don't we just do that right now? I lied. Uh, let's go ahead and... You know what? We're gonna take... We are gonna jump in the Tega. We are gonna attempt to somehow get back up this hill with a trailer 
I, I don't know if this is going to work. I, I don't see how this could possibly work. But we're going to try it, because why not? Oh, no. That did not attach the way I wanted it to. That did not attach the way I wanted it to either. All right, let's uh, let's detach the trailer. I should have known that this is going to be almost impossible, especially with these stones here. Oh, come on. This is a nice short truck, too. There we go. Come on, get up there. Now we can winch this up. Whoops. Okay, that was not enough for the uh, parking brake to hold us. Okay, now we can easily get the trailer. Maybe? Yep, the trailer can roll over. It can do whatever it needs to do. Oh, let's get up this hill. And now we just have to attach it. Perfect. Uh, what am I picking up? It was a service trailer, right? So that's a tongue trailer. Yep. That's all we need to do there. <clears throat> you know what? We might as well fuel up since we're up here. And do I want to drop this off? I'm... I don't think we're going to be going anywhere near a trailer store. Uh, so let's look real quick. Yeah, no we're not. <laughs> we're not going anywhere near a trailer store, so... Yeah, we will just, uh... We'll abandon all our trailers at the top of this mountain. That's exactly what we'll do. And we'll come up with a new nickname for this mountain. Maybe call it Trailer Mountain. Alright, I'm going to randomly guess again. Hopefully take a shortcut through these woods. I did not expect them to be so thick. I think they thin out down here. Yeah, it looks like it uh, thins out. Should be able to go, yeah, straight down there. Look at, oh wow, that's built for us. That was built for us. All right now, let's uh, have a little bit of fun here. Uh, put it back in auto so we can back up. Thought you were gonna bounce back. Come on, back. Bounce back up on your feet. Or on your wheels. However you want to say it. Ooh. Come on. 
hopefully this gets put up back on its wheels before we uh, get to where we're going. Where are we going? We are going that way. So we got to go left here, don't we? All right. You know what? Why don't we just do this? We will help out the trailer just a little bit. Okay, that should be... That shouldn't help us at all. Come on, let's punch through there. There we go. Oh, nope, attached trailer. Alright, there we go. Once I figure out what button goes where. <laughs> But yeah, definitely, uh, we're definitely struggling a little bit here. And maybe it's because I had such a, uh, a long break in between episodes. All right, but I'm guessing, I'm, I'm guessing here that we are going to be just fine. Uh, no, yeah, we definitely want to go left. I don't know why my gut told me to right, but then again, my gut's been off all day, so. There's the watchtower. And there is our drop off point. Boom. Just like that, done. Now, we. We need to figure out the drown lands. We have to. Uh, let's take the Tega. It's a, it's a good little truck. I like it. Uh, let's. Let's recover it. And yes, we're going to go to Zimbogorsk, which we don't need to go there, so we're going to have to retain it. Uh, so let's retain this. Let's check to see... Nope, there's no other trucks here. And there are some trucks still on the map, but... Including the Azov. So this is probably our good truck. Um... We are stuck in the middle here without a trailer store anywhere. Hmm. Alright, give me one second. I'm going to drag this back to the warehouse and we are going to get rid of the trailer. So give me one second. Alright, well, I am back. I have dropped off the trailer for the Azov. And I've got everything set up back here in good old little drown lands. As you can see, we're both at the uh, the garage slash trailer store. And we have to go to the abandoned warehouse. A ruined warehouse, sorry. We have to go here probably... I don't know if we have to find them. I'm bringing a crane just in case they're laying on the ground. It doesn't really say. I'm not 100% sure. And so I'm going to bring a crane and there's six of them. So I'm assuming they're that they take up one cargo spot. Let's let's hope I'm right. Uh, I could. I could second guess myself. And. Yeah, well, I could just take this and see what happens, but I'm definitely doing two trips. So, yeah, we're just going to. We're going to give give it a go with the setup that I have here, so. 
if you guys haven't watched this or done this episode or this uh, mission and you're looking to find out how to do it, this is how you do it. And let's just say it's, uh, yeah, we're going to find out if it's, uh, these secured containers are one or are they two? I'm, I'm hoping, fingers crossed. I mean, if they're two, then we need 12, so we'll need more than what we brought anyways, so... Uh, that's why I have a strange feeling that it's it's just gonna be it's just gonna be single slots that they're uh, taking up. So this uh, this Azov is really slowing us down. <laughs> Maybe I should have brought the dairy because the dairy I believe has a faster top speed. So that would uh, that would basically mean that we'd be able to get there faster, but. You know what? Let's uh, let's just roll with this. We're probably not gonna make it there this episode. I think we're running out of time, and I don't really want to push the episode too long. So yeah, we're just going to uh, we're gonna go from there. We're gonna see uh, we're gonna see how long it takes to get to where we need to go. But um, yeah, anyways, <laughs> let's 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 just. Let's do a sounds of the game. Why not? We haven't done it in a while. I'm just going to shut up. Nothing seems to be going right today, so uh, hopefully we'll get somewhere. But I will, uh, I'll start speaking when I feel like it's necessary to speak. So uh, let's listen to the sounds of the game. 